Hello folks. Tonight I'm going after the Triffid Nebula. Now I've I've already got around uh, I'd say four hours on this target. Um, it hasn't been easy. It's so low in the south it, it never rises above 25 degrees for me so I only get about an hour of data per night. So I've been on this object for about a month. So I'm going to stop at around five hours and we'll see how it goes. So I've got my primary set up here, my CGX, my uh, ZWO camera, uh, Moonlight Focuser, ES-127mm scope, and I'm, I'm ready to finish a trip it, even though um, it looks like the moon is starting to get bright again, but you know what? I don't care. I want to finish this object. So, uh, you know what? But um, while the moon is out, I'm going to point this camera at the moon and see how it goes. Hang on. I have my camera on automatic and it has 83 optical zoom. It's pretty cool. The automatic focus. Oops, I'm losing it. Come on. I'm just on a manual tripod here. Not very steady. Come on, stay there. Well, let's see if I can get in any closer. Hey, that's pretty good. It's pretty cool looking. Any closer? No, that's about it. Okay, so I may actually finish this project tonight. I am working on the Triffid and currently capturing blue. Now I've already got a half hour of green and I'm halfway done with blue and then I'm going to try and finish off red and half hour of red. And so it, if I add it all up, I think it's going to come to around uh, three hours or so of L Pro data and then a half hour each of RGB. I thought I was going to have closer to five hours, but it doesn't seem like that. But that's okay. This is a bright object, so I think uh, maybe four and a half hours is all I'll need. So I'm doing, let's see, right now 30 second exposures on blue. The gain and offset is 75.15. Now the mean readout is 1700. Normally, you know, just from experience, I like to have that mean readout um, for most objects for broadband in the 800 to 1200 range for 30 second exposures at gain 75. But um, uh, when you're pointing this slow, uh, my, my my telescope never, uh, the object itself never rises above 25 degrees in the south for me. It's, and, and it's in the face of light pollution and I think in the Milky Way itself is bringing back more signal, so I, I think I'll be fine with 1700. If it were narrow band, I, I'm more comfortable in the 600 to 800 range. Um, so uh, a lot of people ask me, well, how do you know what mean readouts to get? And uh, I just, uh, that's usually, uh, uh, it's just mostly from experience, but I'm going to flash something up on the screen here. And what this, this picture shows is uh, mean, mean readouts, ADUs basically, that you don't want to go below per gain and offset. Because if you go too low, then um, uh, you, you may not have enough signal to stack on. I, I, that happened to me before where I was too low and Deep Sky Stacker wouldn't stack it. Um, and uh, Pixinsight wouldn't stack it. So these are definitely minimums to, to, to stay above. Now, in terms of how high you can go, I, I guess it just depends on, on your location and, and what you think you can get away with. You know, you just want to make sure that if your mean readout is at a certain level that you like, make sure it's not there because of haze or something else. Uh, um, you know, that 800 to 1200 range I'd like to be in is on a really clear night with no moon. So, um, anyway, let's take a look at my guiding. I'm almost afraid to see when the scope is pointing this slow. Yeesh, 1.92. And I did a dither there. Let's clear this out. Yeah, like I said, it never rises above 25 degrees, so... Um, <clears throat> you 
you know what, it, it is what it is. Um, as long as I can still image, I, I'm just going to accept whatever my guiding gives me. This is a, basically as low as I can go. So, and I'm actually even below 25 degrees. It, probably 25 degrees is its highest point for me. So, and it, it's not near that point yet. So, okay, well, anyway, I'll see what I end up with. Hey, it's been so long since I've done one of these imaging videos, it, at least it feels like it's been a long time. I forgot to show you what one raw image looks like, and I'm still on the blue. And that is one raw image. Um, I can see the trifid right there. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. I hope it's not called trifid or something else. I always call it trifid. Another image just came. So that's what one raw image looks like, and I hope these stars aren't really going to be too bloated, but that's what usually seems to happen with my blue. Um, and the uh, mean readout has dropped a little bit, so that I like to see. If it's rising a little bit, that's usually a sign that there's something going on in the sky, probably haze. So, I think that's all I got, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you later.